Hey everybody, Danny Ward here, head professional at the Canterbury Golf Club in Kent and look, we've got a beautiful day today, not great for playing but you know what, we can still, we can still coach in this, right? This week what I want to discuss is, is how do you create a golf swing that first of all repeats and secondly, if you're a slicer of the golf ball and you're starting to cut the ball away or you're not striking it as consistently as you like, what factors could you do in your downswing to improve the likelihood that you're going to hit it much straighter and strike it much better. Now, in a previous video, I discussed how, what we should be doing with the legs. I'm going to cover a little bit of that today again. So what the leg action should be doing on the, on the way down to improve the quality and, and the power of your shots. But I'm going to focus predominantly here on one of the major factors, which is the upper part of the body. And what happens with so many of my amateur golfers, what do they do on the way down that causes them to really lose so much power and, and create so much curvature on a golf ball. So let me get started. What do most amateurs do? When they get to the top of the backswing here, they throw the right shoulder over here, creating, this is a, what we call a very steep angle of attack. They come over here, they come outside the line of the golf ball, and they come swinging left, and they start to get that big curve left to right for right-handed golfers. From this angle, you'll also see some other problems. So when they get here and they throw this right shoulder over, they come over this way. Look what happens sometimes to the body as well. It gets them spinning out of it a little bit so the weight goes backwards and they start catching the ground behind the golf ball. None of it, as you can see, is going to be any good. So what I'm going to focus on today is, is what should we do with this right shoulder here or what can we do with this right side to really improve this downswing position so you can stop all that and start striking that ball far more efficiently. So, got a wonderful drill for you, it's really, really simple. And what we're gonna do, I'll show you how we set it up. So, first things first, take your left hand, put it at the top of the grip, and just cock your wrist here, so the toe of the club's pointing to the sky, opposite your left leg. Take your right hand, put it underneath here, so it's opposite your right leg. Now, from this position here, just make sure that you've got a nice, good posture there, so you kind of feel like your feet are, are almost balanced, gripping the ground a little bit here, and you're, you're really, really balanced. Now from this position, we're only going to do like a half swing. We're going to swing just to about this position here, so no further than that, just this position here. Let me show you from this, this place here. So at this stage, you can see I'm nice and balanced. My right shoulder at this stage is, is not forward, it, it's, it's back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to start to move now into the back swing. As we do, I can really feel the pressure starting to build into my right side. My right elbow starting to fold and I'm really starting to kind of push up into here. Now at this stage, my right shoulder is nice and stable and it's back. And what I really want to do when I transition now, I want to bring it back and I want to maintain that that right shoulder here is back in position. I don't want it to be from here throwing over, okay? So what I'm doing from this position, keeping the right shoulder back and I want you to swing down to the position. So let's just go through that again. So setting position, holding it here, swing it back. And then what we're going to do as we transition into the downswing here, we're going to keep the right shoulder back. I'm going to bring the shaft down to its level or parallel with the toes. Back here, driving to the downswing here, keeping the right shoulder back. Back up, back down, keeping the right shoulder back. And it gives you a wonderful feeling as to what should be happening right here. Let's go through that again, one more time. Back here, grip it this side. You see here, left arm, right arm. Wind the club back up here, drive back down, keeping that right shoulder in the slot here. From there, we're going to then naturally look. Everything starts to rotate through into impact and into a beautiful full position. Let's see that in action in a, in a full swing. So from here, we're going to wind it back. We don't want this motion here. We want to keep that right shoulder back in place as we rotate with my right shoulder it hasn't gone over i'm rotating through my right shoulder staying back and i come down and rotate through not a bad shot off the snow all right so really really simple drill let me just summarize this for you so what we try to do we want to stop people slicing it we want to stop people hitting the ground behind the golf ball one of the biggest problems is the transition from their backswing to their downswing and how they go about doing it 
we said that what they tend to do, golfers, is they tend to go this way. So if you're doing that, if you're coming over the top, look at your right shoulder here. Pay attention to it. Just double check. Is your right shoulder coming around? If it is, this is a wonderful drill. We want to hold it back. Easy to say, isn't it? Harder to do. This is why we use a drill. So we put the club in position, get yourself there, swing it back, hold that right shoulder back. As you're turning through here, look at that position. You're putting the pressure down into the ground here, and that is staying back. From there, you can then just rip it through. All right, wonderful way of getting the sensation of what you need. And you know the beauty with all this? You can do it indoors. All right, now remember, to complement this, I, I will leave uh, one of my previous videos which shows you what goes on with the legs to help, help, uh, help improve this video even more, or this training more. But if you've got any questions in the meantime, look, don't hesitate to pop them in the comments box and I'll do my best to answer them. If you think anyone else would benefit from this training, please share it. It'll really, really help. And until next week, have a great golfing week.